Another thing that's been in the news a lot lately is talk about premiums, about premiums mm -hmm. going up. What exactly do we mean by premiums and why are they going up? So premiums are the price that people pay for health insurance. And you're right, I mean, in the fall, certainly in the summer, um, stories came out from states that premiums were going up pretty significantly. The average premium increase for 2017 in these exchanges is about 25%. Now, why are premiums going up? Well, the exchanges have enrolled a lot fewer people than expected, um, less than half the number of people that expected. Relatively young, healthy, middle-class people aren't enrolling in numbers that were expected. So actually two-thirds of enrollees in the exchanges have income below 200% of the poverty line. 200% of the poverty line for a single person is about $24,000. And they qualify for very large subsidies. They qualify for a subsidy that reduces their premium. They qualify for a subsidy that reduces the deductibles. But unless people qualify for both of those subsidies, they're not purchasing the coverage to the degree expected. Premiums are also um, affected by sort of there were um, uh, there was a back end subsidy program put in to help the laws exchanges in the first three years they took effect, and um, those subsidies are going away. So what we've seen are large premium increases and also uh, a lot of insurers withdrawing from the markets. So three major insurers, Aetna, Humana, and United Healthcare, have largely withdrawn from the markets. Next year, one third of U.S. counties are only going to have a single insurer participating in the exchanges. So you have rapidly increasing premiums. You have insurers withdrawing from the exchanges, um, something that economists tend to refer to as a death spiral is happening death in many spiral? states. Yes, well, not to be confused with the death star, the death <laughs> okay. spiral.